Hello and welcome back to another episode of Reckon It Right, your home for outdoors tips, tricks, and various other shenanigans and stuff that we do here. Some of you more keen-eyed viewers may have noticed the title of this video had, you know, something or other to do with bear spray. You're always told to hike with it, but have you ever actually seen it used? Well, that is what we're going to show you today. So that way, should you actually have to use it, you'll have a better visualization of what it's going to look like, and you'll be that much more effective when you do use it. You're going to want to carry your bear spray in a very easily accessible spot. And when you are ready to use it, you're going to take off the little safety clip. And when the bear's about 30 feet away, you're just going to spray it right in the face. There are two schools of thought when using bear spray. Some recommend using short one to two second bursts, while some recommend emptying the entire canister in one go. Neither one's right, neither one's really wrong. It is kind of up to you which you decide to use. This method is exactly what it sounds like. You're just gonna give short bursts of the bear spray. This is an excellent way to conserve your bear spray if you only have one on you. Because if you use all of your bear spray in one go and that bear comes back at you, or you see another bear and you're out of bear spray because you used it all, you're pretty screwed there. Once again, exactly what it sounds like. You're just gonna empty the entire canister right at the bear. It lasts five to eight seconds depending upon how big the canister is. This is a good method if you carry a spare canister with you or if you're hiking with a buddy who also has a canister. Because if you used all of yours and you see another bear on your way out, fantastic, you have another canister. But if you're trying to save on weight or you're just really, really cheap like me, maybe the one to two second bursts is a better method. Once again, up to you to decide which method might work better for your particular situation. Whatever method you use, the concept is the same. You're just gonna to wanna to spray the bear right in the face. Now, when I did my demonstration just now, I was in a controlled environment. Wide open space, I was aiming downwind, and in an ideal world, the bear is also gonna charge you from downwind. But realistically speaking, the bear does not care about wind direction. The bear is gonna charge you from wherever it's gonna charge you if that's what it's gonna do. So if you do happen to get some bear spray on you, there's a few different steps you're gonna to wanna to take. Your first priority, if you get any in your eyes, is to leave the area. Get away from the bear, get away from the area that you sprayed, get to safety. And then as soon as you can, you're gonna to wanna to start rinsing with water for about 15 to 20 minutes. If you have contact lenses in, after about five minutes of rinsing, take those out and keep rinsing. Now, water. Rinsing with water is a very good idea, and that's your first line of defense. And if that's all you have, great. But, bear spray is oil-based. Water is water-based. If you've ever tried to clean a greasy pan with just water, it can be done. It just takes a lot of water and it takes forever. So if you do happen to be carrying bear spray, it's also a good idea to carry non-tier baby soap. That will help cut through the oil a little bit and alleviate the pain that much sooner and it'll just make it that much more pleasant for you. There's also wipes that are specially made to help remove bear spray. You can usually buy those at all the same places you can find bear spray. If you get any bear spray on your skin, very much similar to what you do with your eyes. Get to safety first, and then just start rinsing with water. Once again, try to use clean water, but lake water, stream water is going to be fine to use. You do not need to use treated water unless 
there's an open wound on your arm or anything like that. Just make sure the water's not mucky and not full of literal crap and it's going to be just fine. If you get any on your clothes, I hope you brought a change of clothes because you're going to want to get out of those clothes, put them in a bag and change into something else as soon as you possibly can. If you have used the entire canister, the whole thing's empty, great. In a safe spot, preferably outside, just make sure that it is completely empty, empty all the pressure, and then you can just throw it into the garbage or into the recycling, depending upon your local regulations. Most recycling and waste disposal facilities do deal with aerosol cans. So you treat these the same way you treat anything aerosol, spray paint, WD-40, whatever. Just give them a call to make sure you can just properly dispose of these. Also check with your local outdoor store. A lot of them, not all, but a lot of them do accept empty canisters or expired canisters as well. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to click subscribe. I made a whole nother video about, you know, non bear spray, bear deterrent methods. Feel free to watch that. Uh, watch out for bears. Until next time, have fun out there. Leave no trace.